Welcome to another episode of Failing to Success. I'm your host, Chad Kalecki with Cosmic Design. I'm here today with Frances Perdue. Her company is called Scooter P Entertainment, and it's a BIPOC distribution company. Thanks for being on the show today, Frances. Thank you for having me. So, Frances, what's a BIPOC distribution company? That's a great question. A BIPOC distribution company is geared towards people of color. As we know, there's a big disparity, and a lot of people of color don't get to distribute their TV series or their films or any type of content that they have. So we focus on helping them by giving them the resources that we have, as well as distributing their content across multiple streaming platforms. So what, what are a couple of streaming platforms they can expect? We are doing really well with Tubi, Momitu, Amazon Prime, and a couple of others that we have some, what we would say, first look deals with. So one of them is Vyrie, V-Y-R-E. They're an international company. So we're expanding as we go along. Each project brings on different outlets. So we do anything from HBO Max to Tubi. It's not something I ever thought of with like our podcast. Would you recommend we put our podcast on stuff like that? I think it's great. One example would be, I don't know if you're familiar with Jason Lee, but he has Hollywood Unlocked. And since he's on the Fox channel, they put him on Tubi. So then you get an extra stream of income from it being on Tubi and people can watch it anytime. That's really interesting. Mm -hmm. So how did you get started in this space? So funny. I am a publicist. I've been a publicist for about 15 plus years. And as an actual college student, I actually did some film stuff. I was doing location scouting and all these things and was on the radio as a personality. And it kind of all came together with entertainment. And recently I had worked for a company and I said, you know what, there's some things I think I could tweak and do a little bit better. And so I ended up starting my own company after leaving them. So are you fully on your own now? Yes, I own it. All right. But I have a wonderful partner by the name of Ernest Dancy, and we have some great partnerships with other companies and groups as well. So were you able to get revenue flowing right away? I think it takes time, right? So yeah. we're about a year in, so now we're seeing revenue with what people don't understand with distribution, right? You give me your film, you give me your TV series. It takes about three months to generate because it has to go through the process of people clicking, watching, not watching, whatever it is, and then they collect the money and give it to you. So how do you get through that? that year of not having that income? By partnering. So I call them press partnerships, right? So you partner with organizations so you can get bulk in, meaning bulk talent, bulk projects, so you can spread it across the form so you can make money. Also by doing contests and getting sponsorships, just we had a thing called Every Hue Filmmakers Contest. And so we partnered with Final and Final Draft is a major company that if people don't know, they help you with screenwriting. So they're screenwriting tools so you can put your stuff into script form. And so we've done that and gotten sponsors for different events and just literally applying for grants, applying for funding from different business sources, from PayPal to whatever we could qualify for. Where are you based out of? Birmingham, Alabama. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. This is an interesting model. It's you've already got my gears turning. Cause I'm like, Oh wow. Like, awesome. yeah, I didn't even think that I should be posting this stuff on Amazon video and Tubi and all these other mediums you're talking about. You need to have multiple streams of income. Yeah. So is there a piece of content that you guys help put out that has just really took off? Yes. This is a topic that's near and dear to me, breast cancer. And so there's a lady by the name of Darla and she has a project called Courageous Warriors. And it's gone over, like, she's been our most, I would say, not just profitable, but most diverse project because she's over like seven platforms want to pick her up. And so it was really dope that people love the docu-series kind of format or documentary format. And they usually sway away from that, right? Because not a lot of money when you think about entertainment. They want salacious stuff, you know? And so I love that they picked it up with the quickness and that she'll make money off of like maybe seven platforms. So that was one that really took off and we really are proud of because of the content, especially. We even talked about men having breast cancer in that particular project. How does your structure work when, when you have a client that it takes off? It, it's the same. And that's why we are a little different from other distribution companies. We give a flat rate, right? And we don't change. And we still support them. Like if you do a social media post for your project, know that we're going to repost. Or if it's going to be on a platform, we're going to actually post it up. And so I think what we do is a little bit different from the other companies is we support holistically. We don't just say, okay, your film is up. Do what you want. Do as thou will. And so for our, our form, we stay consistent on the revenue stream 
and the support that we give to each and every filmmaker. So are you going out and finding filmmakers or are they finding you? Well, actually both ways. Just like with my PR firm, it's a referral process, right? Be like, hey, I got my film out. You need to go check out Scooter P. Or we do what's called exhibitions, as my partner Ernest Dancy says. And he and I, or he as the president of acquisitions, goes out and acquires projects at film festivals, as well as through our contest. I told you about the Every Hue Filmmakers Contest. They want prizes, but they definitely want to be distributed too. So it's a combination of all. And I think there's no right or wrong way to do it. So when somebody comes to you, are you offering advice on their content? You're like, you guys need to have the content and I'm here just for distribution. So that's a beautiful question. So I do offer advice for the content, but it comes in the form of, hey, do you think that you can do a different ending or is this your finalization of the project? Because I never want to take from the creativity of the actual content creator. But I also want to let them know that things in the beginning, middle, and end, <laughs> there's a structure and certain streamers won't even touch it if it doesn't have certain structures. And I know it's a lot of for the filmmaker, but it's way better this way than them trying to do it on their own or fund it themselves. Another thing is things they don't think about, the stuff that comes after you say yes. So, you know, closed captioning is not automatic, subtitling insurance for your film so we are very upfront with them and we tell them what we think needs to happen and then it's up to the filmmaker to say yes or no yes i'm willing to change it or no i'm not willing to change it the major fight that we have is over that cover art that you see <laughs> those posters that you see that's the main thing that we give a lot of criticism on because that's what draws people into your film or to your tv series but other than that it's definitely up to the filmmaker all right that's good to know mm -hmm. So if any of our listeners wanted to reach out to you personally or uh, to your company, how would they do so? Well, we have a website, of course, ScooterPEntertainment.com. And we are on all social media platforms for the most part. So Facebook is Scooter P Entertainment. On Instagram, we are Scooter P underscore Entertainment. On Twitter, we are Scooter P underscore ENT. Well, thank you, Francis, for being on the show. And thank you, everybody, for listening to another episode of Failing to Success. I'm your host, Chad Kalecki with Cosmic Design. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.